This was my experience with a regular cheap hotel in, uh, in North Carolina. I don't really know if there are hotels like this too in other states, but um, this is one of my rough experience with a cheap hotel in uh, North Carolina. And uh, I want to share this with you guys. <laughs> uh, trust me, it was a very, very bad experience. I had a very bad experience uh, booking a very cheap hotel like this. And uh, there was a lot going on. There was a lot going on. Like, it's, I don't know if I should say it's a hotel because there are people who, like, they live there permanently. The reason why uh, we booked this hotel was because uh, we were running out of money too as well. And um, the place we, we, we booked when we arrived here in North Carolina, it was actually an Airbnb, which we had wanted to extend it. But unfortunately, somebody uh, booked booked it so we were not able to extend it and we had to look for a very cheap hotel you know so that we can stay in that hotel for uh, for some time so that we can look for a place so during this particular day uh, we were able to uh, finalize the contract and uh, we were leaving the hotel because we booked the hotel for i think for a week or two but we stayed for i think three days and then we just checked out because we, we were able to finish with the contract of uh, the place that we wanted to move in i'll take you to that place too as well so that you can see how that side is it's like a condominium and uh yeah Agora é para entregar, né? Você não acha que é depois? Você vai querer voltar aqui depois? Sim, né? Quantos dias que está faltando? Não é dois? A gente fica com o catão deles. Não entendi. Sim. Porque der uma volta também, então a gente não vai fazer nenhum favor, porque pode dar para alguém pegar dinheiro, né? So after parking everything inside the car, uh, I was deciding if I should give them back the key or I should just wait for uh, the right date for the checkout to give them back the key. And uh, yeah. I was able to get this big car. I I bought it for three thousand dollars anyway. 
I bought it for three thousand dollars. I thought cars were very cheap in the US, but I bought this one for three thousand dollars, and um, I did some other, you know, like changes and some other things. So let me just say I spent a total of two thousand dollars. <laughs> After buying the car for three thousand, so in total I spent like five thousand dollars to to get the car and you know register the plate and everything so that things can be easy for me and all that and the family because you know with family you have to try as much as you can to get things done properly. So this is where I finally got a place and this is where we finally settled. <laughs> it was a big hassle, it was a big hassle, it wasn't that easy and um, I bought a drone so yeah it's, <laughs> it's a new thing. I've never used drones in my videos before and um, I was able to get a drone so now i have a drone and this content i'm using the drone uh, to to get this particular content for you guys and i hope you guys are loving it and enjoying it because this is a drone shot it's actually a drone shot yeah and uh i'm exploring the place it has a very nice, uh, let me just say, parking spot, a place where you can also spend time if you have a pet. And um, there are a lot of trees. I love trees a lot. If you've watched most of my old videos, you know that I'm the nature fan guy. Like I'm, I'm the nature kind of guy. Actually, I love, I love nature. I love plants. I love trees. And uh, yeah, if you go through my old videos that I did in Brazil, you see that even the house, my house, I have uh, this big tree. And I have, apart from the big tree, the mango tree that I have, I have, uh, what do you call it? I have variety of plants too that uh, I'm taking care of. I love, I love, I love plants. I love plants a lot. And uh, I would say I'm not the city kind of boy or the city kind of person, even though I was born in a city. I love places where uh there is so much nature i feel much more comfortable and at home in those kind of places Yes, so first I want to say a very big thank you to each and every single one of you who always come back to watch my channel, give my videos some time up. I know YouTube have, has been telling me, most of you guys, you watch a lot, but you don't give my videos thumb up so that my video can be recommended to others too as well. But I just want to say a very thing, big thank you to you guys and uh, let me know at the comment section what do you think about uh, our new place where we are living now uh, maybe i have to get you a content of inside the apartment how inside the apartment looks and everything and uh, now that i have a drone too so i might bring you guys more content especially nature kind of contents I love nature, so I might bring you more content about nature. 
So guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Click the bell button after subscription and leave your comment at the comment section.